Generic greetings, and welcome back to Airships once again. Hopefully we will be conquering the skies via the application of bullets, bombs, and a new thing. Let's just go to Design and Fight and over to Airship Editor. We can see if we scroll down, we will find a grape shot cannon. What this is essentially is a metal tube filled with explosives and ball bearings. You light that, and bang, the enemy target gets absolutely peppered, and hopefully it'll be a lot of fun slapping it on a ship and trying it out. Oh, by the way, today's beverage is... Milk, not chocolate milk, not strawberry milk or anything like that, just plain old milk. And the reason for it is I've got about uh, six litres of the stuff I need to drink over the weekend. Well, see, there'll be other people drinking it as well, but the thing is I went down the shops and I was going to get milk for myself and I knocked on a friend's door who lives just down the street and said, hey, do you want anything from the shops? Yeah, no problem, can you get us some milk? Can you give us a five pint of milk? He works in pints because he's, you know, older and stuff, old school, and said, yeah, no problem. So I went that, got it, and then um, came back and he'd gone. He'd gone away for the weekend, he's gone to some random folk festival thing and just decided to leave without getting said milk. So now I'm stuck with more milk than I can feasibly drink. So any opportunity, I am having a sip. Right, okay, let's actually use some of these grape shot cannon things and fire it at an enemy. What I think I'll do actually is go to open design and if we find the, uh, probably the fighterington or something like that, let's have a quick look. We'll have a quick scroll down. Uh, that's a chop fighterington. That might do the job. Uh, I'm just checking the price of things. Uh, mini rocket. Ah, that's the mini rocket. If we get the rocket, actually pull the rocket off. Go for a grape shot cannon and put two of those on. That is now a legit ship. This is just to try it. So let's rename it. And we will rename it. Close all that. Hang on. There we go. Rename. And we will have it as the Gav... Generic airship vessel or generic airborne vessel. Uh, it'll be the... Well, surely it's going to be the Grape Shottington. Has to be, doesn't it? Save the design. Save. Job done. Leave that. Go over to combat and we'll have it as day. And normal AI. So we will add a airship and we'll find the Grape Shottington. There it is. 380. And not very high in the sky, these things. Don't have a very good service ceiling. But as I said, this is just to try the gun out. And the way we're going to try the gun out is just by spamming several of these. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 of them specifically. There we go. They're all in place. And that is a total score of... 4,500 and a little bit of change. We're going to go to add airship on the other side. And obviously we're not going to put things like the don't think it'll working turn or the, <laughs> the hammering turn in. Now, probably the subbington. Uh, Ram, no. We'll probably put the subbington mark 2. We'll probably put it in. And we will put it... There. Do we have to flip it or is that the right way? That is the right way. Yeah, so there's a subbington. It's got a quite high service ceiling for a sub, and we'll have to do a little bit more, actually, because it's only at just just under 3,000. So add airship once more, and probably put... We're not going to put a Zeppelin in, because the Zeppelin will kick our ass. Also, I've been playing a lot of Battlefield 1 recently, so I'm totally sick of Zeppelins. They can just GTFO, and... Oh, God, boarding even worse. Saws, ramming thing, mini sub. Put a mini sub on. Yeah, we'll put a mini sub. So we've got two sort of sub vessels here and we're about 500 points over we'll go to our airship once more and we'll give them a chop fighter and we'll just put it there let's just, just see how long that actually lasts so i think we will give this a go we'll click start we'll immediately pause it we'll select all of these and we will say probably target the one here so they're going to fire, hopefully, and uh, rip this guy to shreds. Now, the grip shot, I didn't actually check the damage on it, but I assume it's not got much penetration, but it'll do a lot of damage to very weakly or poorly armoured areas, also crew as well. Hopefully, it'll be able to do a number on that one. So, here we go. We're just going to have a quick zoom in, and we will unpause it. And there's the shots whizzing out. Yep, that's a lot of grip shot, and there's the torpedoes coming out. It looks like it's hit the first one, and that's obviously split it in two, and because of that, it's uh, pushed all the ones to the bottom. So, there's the shots whizzing out as you can see it's um it's not doing too bad against the armor oh but that's that's gonna start hurting and okay this is not working out as intended it, it's really starting to damage these look at that it's really putting holes in it but i have a feeling that they just don't have the penetration for the 
for the job. No. No, I, I don't think that's... That's not Ganon very well, is it? You can see there's a grape shot firing out here from these ones. I mean, it could be the hull that I've mounted these on, but I don't know. I don't think that is the case. Okay. Right, well, we've seen what they do. I mean, they, they have absolutely peppered this. I mean, there's probably damage all over this thing. There's probably a lot of damage spread out all over the vessel. But, obviously, it's not disabling them. The problem that these have is that, unlike these torpedoes where they hit something and blow it up like that and pretty much take out whatever they hit, these are just doing a lot of damage across the entire vessel. But they're not taking out, like, the suspendium. They're not ammo racking stuff. So... It's not entirely working. But it's not a massacre. I mean, it's close to a massacre, but it's not exactly a massacre. Let's go to leave. Uh, exit the combat. We'll go back over to uh, the airship editor. We'll open the design and obviously check out the Grape Shottington. And I just want to check the stats on it. So, piercing damage is 8. Actually, just for clarity, we'll put a cannon in. So what's the cannon say? The cannon says it's piercing damage 40, reload time of 3 seconds, and the grape shot is piercing 8 with a reload time of 4 seconds. Firing arc is a little bit better. Uh, the maximum accurate range is 140 meters, where the cannon is 1,100 meters. Weight doesn't really matter. Yeah, so there's a big difference there. Which you would expect. We'll just have a quick look at the grape shot cannon and what does it what does it say? Fires a spray of smaller cannonballs to tear through light armor and crew alike. Yeah, so it's gonna cause a lot of I guess it's gonna cause a lot of damage in um in like a big blast area. The thing is the game doesn't tell me just how many shots it fires. Like it obviously simulates loads of shots going out, but not doesn't give me the statistics of that, as far as I can see. Piercing, reload, fire arc, maximum accurate range, weight, HP, operators, and recommended crew. Okay. What we'll do then, we'll go to... Hmm, open design. Actually, no, we'll, we'll build a one from scratch. So, we'll, we'll delete all of this. What we want to do is have probably something that can... I think we're going to have to have something that's going to be out was going to outmaneuver the enemy. So we'll have to go like up and over and round and then in the back of the enemy. I think that might be the way to go and then pepper it at that range. Or we could have we tried the spam approach it didn't work. I think if we have our or we could go for the brute force uh, brute force approach where we're very very armored ourselves. Right. Well, either way what I want to do is have a fairly big one, two, three, four, five. So we'll have five like that, and we won't we really want it any bigger than that. We don't think so, anyway. That should do us. We need to have some sort of ammo store, which... Ooh, do I really want to put the ammo store like that? I think ammo store is probably best to go there and there. And then we'll have a fire door. Command and crew, berth. We'll put some berths in here, like that. And then we'll have a fire door. Fire door. Love the search function. And we will have over the basic corridor running right through here. We will have probably got a command and crew. A crow's nest up there. And then quarters either side. Okay, what's our crew at the moment? Recommended crew 13, actual air sailors 33. Probably don't need that then. Targeting computer would be nice, but <laughs> a telescope maybe. A telescope on a, a grape shot thing? No, I don't think we need that. In fact, I don't even think we need the crow's nest to be fair, but it does increase weapon accuracy. Don't think we really need it, but whatever. Uh, large suspendium chamber, not needed. Small suspendium chamber, probably. That should probably do us. What's our service ceiling? Uh, 61 meters. No, no, no. We want to go right up and over. So let's get rid of this stuff here. Get rid of all this. Large suspendium chamber. 
Like that. Massive. Massive machine. Look at the size of it. Service ceiling, 249 metres. Yep, I think that's high enough. We're going to rip this down, go over to propulsion. We'll probably put some sort of ooh, large propeller. That would be very, very nice. I bet the speed is quite good with that one. And, well, you know what? We'll see how this goes. <laughs> the whole point is to get in there fast as possible and start peppering. A recommended crew, we'll have to check, is 19, air sailors 9. Hmm, we probably need to resolve that. But let's just go over to, I think, structural, no, we don't need a keel. We do need some coal, though. Coal there and coal there. The problem I have with that is that they are right next to each other, so we'll split them up like so. Like that. Actually, what we'll probably do... Um, there, perhaps, and then. Hmm. And what I'm trying to think is like, do we need do we need it that long? We don't need it that long, but we do need more spaces for crew. You see, putting all the coal there though, if we get a fire, we'll have a lot of issues. So probably best not to do that. I don't think we'll extend it to there, and then what I'll do is I'll put a fire point in between the two. We will put a couple of crew quarters in. Probably put a bridge in, actually. And... Quarters. Hmm. SL is... 33 recommended... Recommended 24, actual air sailors 21. So we could over, we could overpoint it. There's no reason why we couldn't put that many crew in. Haven't got anything for boarding, which is another flaw with this design, but you can't have everything, really. You can, but you just pay for it. Don't have a repair bay in either, so maybe that would be a, a nice thing to go for. What's our service ceiling? 116. Okay, I think the whole up and over approach is not working out. What we'll do is we'll just heavily armor this thing and drive it forward and kick the crap out of them that way. A couple of supply hatches and not all modules are accessible. Really? Okay. That one. Those two, in fact. Alright. So, what we'll have to do is probably pull that one out. This is the command... There we go. And where are we going to have these, really? Could have coal there. Coal there. If these go on fire, though. Ooh, we've got so many problems. Okay. Let's put fire in between them. <laughs> put the fire... Fire. Um, if not the fire in between, but put them in between them. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> We're not going to put fire in between them. That would just be silly. We do need some corridor. There we go. There's them connected up. Then we've got a bit more gappage. Do we really need this much coal? How much coal have we got? 32. These will use a lot of coal. A lot of coal. So, maybe, do we really want to put the call like that? Double call straight up and down, that's okay. We're going to have a fire point there, and then we can have a cargo door. We do need a cargo door of some description or something like that, but not there because I want to go over to command and crew, get our quarters in. And there's our over, we're over crewed again, but like I say, it's not a big problem. We do need structural, actually it's not going to be in basic. A couple of supply hatches like so. That's a legit ship, technically. It's not great. Yep, but they can go up and down this. It's, it's better for navigation because they can go up and down here, you see. Actually, we could probably just delete that and put the crew there. Yeah. Okay, so we've got two areas where we haven't really got anything. We'll put a repair bay up there, and if we really wanted to, we could have... Well, we haven't got a sick bay. Sick bay would be nice, but 
I think, actually, guard barracks is the way to go. Yeah, I think so. I think because getting boarded is probably going to be more of a problem. Okay, service ceiling is uh, 95 meters, and that is with, by the look of it, steel armor. Yeah, that's steel as well. Okay, we could go for heavy steel, but that's, I believe, heavy steel armor is, I think that's something you can't normally get. Hmm. I don't think you can get it normally. Right. So, it's not the Grip Shottington, it's now the, well, what sort of thing is it? Grip. Grape Chargington? No, no, no. I want something to indicate, like... Oh, look at that. That's interesting. I'm not only typing in the box on the top left. I'm also... Typing in on the, uh... <laughs> the box at the bottom for naming your ship. Well, that's a new one. Okay. <laughs> we'll close the search. Right, so... Uh, it's Grape... It, we won't ram with it, but... Why we don't need a oh, grip? The grip brick ington because it is a bit of a brick. Okay, really do need to come up with a better naming solution. All right, we'll go to combat. Uh, open combat, or combat, combat. Go for dusk day fog. Not nah, day because it's easier for you to see. We'll go to. Do you want a land ship? Yeah, let's verse a land ship instead. Don't want to verse the flak. Scorpion Inkton? No, yeah, we'll verse a scorpion Inkton. Okay, seven. It's a uh, two grand plus a bit of change there. Airship. So it's Grape Brickington. 1,800. Okay. I reckon. We'll try 1v1. We'll try this versus this one. I think this thing's probably going to win because... Oh, actually, I don't know. It's going to be a close one. Because this is heavily armoured, as you can see. In fact, it's got more armour on the sections with the explode. The problem with this, however, is it's always been weak. Like, the tail is weak and all the weapons blow up. The front is weak, that blows up, and then it's not left with much. And it's got flak. And it's quite manoeuvrable. So, we'll see how it goes. We can put range. We put range to make sure it's a bit... I don't know, somewhat different. Yeah, look at that. Is there any... Yeah, that's rain. I like rain at night. Well, let's put it... Let's have a night night fight. And uh, we'll click start. Here we go. So, pause it immediately. This thing, want to ram to there and flip it. So, go. Let's see how fast this thing is. It's... Oh, it's quite sprightly. Look at that. It's getting a bit of lick up. Yeah, that's, that's okay for speed. It's going to get to there and then flip down and that's fine then we need to move it right down here now as you can see oh yes there we go that's what we wanted to see right round the back and it's peppering it look at the damage on it i don't know why that's on the ground look why <laughs> why is it slumped on the ground i don't know but there's a lot of shots going out let's have a quick look at outside view we've taken a bit of damage but that's not too bad this thing is i think this is just Okay, this I think the scorpions went on like a massive bender the night before and it's just like woken up at 3 a.m. in a gutter. As you can see, it's just like, ugh, all the legs are leaning back. It's a bit confused. It's on fire. I mean, that's generally what happens around here. And um, its tail is getting shot off, which again, it's, you know, is local. Right, that's interesting in terms of what's happening to it. I mean, we are, we are half peppering it, that's for sure. Giving it a read good slam in here. Hmm. Well, we've won. There's nothing it can do. It's very interesting that it's um. It's very interesting that it's not been, been able to fight back at all. Let's put a couple of shots in. We'll just go to inside view here. I just want to check something. So ammo. In terms of ammo, we're half ammo, which is a little bit worrying. Coal. We are half for one of them. Actually, so we don't need as much coal. Then, if anything, we need more ammo. 
And remember, this is on normal as well. If we put it on, like, rapid fire, which there's no reason why we couldn't because, well, we just need to be... Let's get even closer. Let's get even closer. There you go. There's no reason why we can't just rapid fire this thing. Look at that. It's absolutely shredding it. If we didn't outmaneuver it, if we took, you know, took it face on, I don't think it would work as well. I'm going to be sick of milk by the end of this weekend, that's for sure. Well, the shots are hitting. Oh, yep, yep, there's the vital part. Yep, that's definitely the vital part. Right, so, the problem we have now is that, oh, most of it's just blown up. Problem we have now is that, uh, we are running out of ammo. No target available. That's because they're all dead, mate. There you go, victory. Completely destroyed. I don't think there's much left of it. Okay, this wasn't bad. Go back to combat. We'll try that again. Go to... Rain. And we'll have... Airship. And we'll go for... Great Brickington. One, two, three, four. Comes to seven five seven six. Add airship, and I believe we got something close to that anywhere. Where is it? There it is. The Bombardington. Which the Bombardington is seven eight three eight. Okay, it's close enough. This is going to be a bit naughty when we start this. I reckon it will probably... Ah, oh, you can't move them all together. I reckon as soon as we start, there's going to be a lot of shots whiz out. And I reckon this thing's going to take a bit of a pound. And one or two of these will explode very quickly because of all the torpedoes that this fires. But I think I might have this. What do you want to fight in? Snow? Fog? No. Dusk's very nice. Day? Dawn? Hmm. Unsurprisingly, there's not much difference between dusk and dawn, apart from the uh, the landscape changes when you click on them. I mean, well, it randomizes every time you click on it, you understand, but yeah, there's not much difference. So what, what statistically is there any difference? Dawn. Shots fired from left to right are less accurate, and this will be uh, right to left. Yeah, okay, that's the only difference. Right. Fog. Night. I do like fighting in the night, because it just looks very pretty, doesn't it? And we will start... So there's the shots whiz out. So let's just pause and see what damage we've done on one volley. So one volley. Actually, the shot's still going in, so we'll probably... Uh, there we go. Right, so that's what we've done. That's the damage we've done straight away. So you can see there's holes all over the place. We've been absolutely peppered. However, this is the problem. Hell's bells. Well, I'm very surprised that happened. Look at that. It's it's taken out a couple of things, but for a start, this didn't blow up the rest of it. This is on fire, so I reckon that's going to go. But the armor actually has protected it somewhat. Okay. Right, so these two we need to ram to there. And the reason we need to ram is we need to get around the back. These ones, I think they're pretty much done for. So we'll ram, push these rocks. Obviously, we're going to cause damage to ourselves. It doesn't matter. We just need to get out of the way. And the inevitable happened. Yes, this thing has um, fallen out of the sky. But we're still peppering, which is good. There's the shots whizzing out. Bloody hell. It's like a Japanese cartoon, all the flashes. Right, we'll press M to go back over. Ah, this one, we need to... Come on, come back. Oh, why are the suspendium rocks following me? Back to there, please. Flip around as well. Now, we're going to have to ram and flip to there. This one, ram and flip to there. The suspendium rock is... Causing me so many problems. Ram and flip to there. Go. Just go down. You know what? You can push the suspension rock out of the way. I don't care. Uh, this one will go down. I'm going to have to push it down. There we go. Push the own, push my own vessel down. And now we're in the back. Right? This one. Ram. Come on. I've lost command. Ah! I've damaged my own command because of the ass of that ship. It's a suspendium rock that's done me in here. So we've lost these two. But this isn't spinning around for some reason. Maybe it's not under command either. It wouldn't make much sense. It should just... It should have span round. I'm trying to go down, but this here, look. See the suspendium rock? It's keeping this afloat too much. 
Hmm. Plan on rapid fire. This one we can't command. This one we can command. And I think we will say ground the ship. And you know what? It is still trying to it is still trying to go down. We're sandwiched between these two suspendium rocks. This is floating. We can't go up because this is there. And there's two rocks together. We can't go down because of that one. And we can't command this to go down. That's a shame. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Something's happened there. Oh, we're going to go back up and damage ourselves. Oh, good grief. Well, either way, shots are whizzing. Uh, we'll leave that. Exit combat, yes. Back over to combat. Try it once more. Try it in the day this time. So, suspendium rocks are a little bit better. Can we get rid of them? Edit landscape. Yeah, just get rid of all these suspendium rocks because they're just causing me an absolute hassle. Absolute nightmare, these things. It's always on the side I'm trying to attack as well. Look, there's nothing on here. But over this side, oh yeah, they're all over the place. We can't maneuver around them. And these are big things anyway, so that always gives us some problems, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay. So we'll get rid of the suspendium rocks. Because they are sometimes useful. Most of the times, work of the devil. And we will have a land ship. Sorry. Airship. It just looks... It just looks like a land ship. It's so bloody big. Put it there. About mid tier. Actually, we'll put it as low as possible and we can fly over the top. So this isn't a, this isn't a proper test. Like, actually, we'll put uh, smart AI. I'll put smart AI on. And airship once more. Brickington. One, two, three, four. All right. There we go. They're a little overpointed again. From what it's got, but I don't think it's too much of a problem. Put it down there. And actually, we'll move this up. The service ceiling can be could probably do with a little bit more, to be honest with you. And we will start. And here we go. Start. So there's the shots. There's the peppering. Look at that. <laughs> the shots. Just bam, 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 bam. Right, okay. So these ones, let me just say ram to there. And then flip. And say go. And they'll go forward. Obviously, these ones are going to get absolutely plastered. Oh, my good grief. The ammo stars caught fire. Take cover. Yep, we've lost an ammo store here. And as you can see, it actually blew up. It's What it's done is blown up the corridor section. Actually, it wasn't corridor. I think it was a crew quarters. It's not blown this up, which is good. It has set fire to this one as well. But it didn't take the rest of it out, which is good. These ones are on fire. We have got one around the back, though. And we'll ram down like that. This one, we're going to ram closer to there. We need to get closer in. Why is he not moving? Go. I said go forward. No, nope, no, nope, it's not going forward. It's just falling out the sky and crushing the other one. Thanks, guy. Oh, and then that one's coming out. But oh my good grief. Did you see that? Oh, shite. It's turned around. Okay. <laughs> uh, quickly go down where the torpedoes can't fire. I don't know if you saw what happened there. This thing got its suspendium knocked out and it dropped down. But as it was going down, it clipped all of the guns on the way down and actually, like, sheared them off just by its... Uh, just because of the way it was manoeuvring. Right, so what we need to do is get underneath it. There we go. See, it can get lower. It's fine. But look, them guns, the, the, the torpedoes got very, very, very reduced arc of fire. If I can get like this. Oh, 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 just clipped it. Clipped it again. Clipped it again. We're fine. Fine, fine. Okay, that gun's damaged. But we should be able to repair it. There's some repair crews coming along, as you can see. So we're still peppering it from back here. This one cannot... Take off. The suspendium's gone. Look, the suspendium chain is completely broken. It's all crawl crystals cracked and everything. Uh, so what we're doing now here is essentially keeping it in place. We're peppering it from the back. This one is used to man the beast. However, this one is doing okay. We will go on to rapid fire. There's no need to aim. This is now on fire from the ass. And the problem I have is that if I stay exactly where I am, um, if this thing falls out the sky... Because this thing is known to spontaneously combust at any opportunity. This thing. So if this thing does go up, I don't want it landing on the only ship I've got left. And I really don't want to risk going underneath it. For obvious reasons. Or rather, I hope are obvious reasons. There's a suspendium turtle going past. Yay. I think it's a turtle with suspendium on its back. Maybe it's just a flying turtle. The great to win. Uh, ammo is 60 of 160, so we've used 100 so far. This is... Oh, there we go! I knew eventually it would do something like that. Alright, yep, there's yep, there's a spontaneous combustion. It's going up. 
There's not much I can do about that. And victory. <laughs> There's one pin somewhere in that vessel. And if you hit the pin, the whole thing falls. It's got Death Star problem. It's got the Death Star problem where there is one weak spot. And, you know, really, really, really bad design. Or is it really bad design as we have uh, maybe seen in uh, certain recent Star Wars film releases? Maybe it wasn't a bad design. Maybe it was purposeful. Hmm. But that's spoiler alert and all. Hmm. Anyway, that has been a little bit of Airship Conquer the Skies once again. That is the Grape Shot Cannon thingy. It's fairly fun to use. I do like it. I can already think of a couple of interesting designs and stuff. I reckon having a land ship with a lot of those grapes on it would be very, very good and have it very, very... Uh, you could have it low profile and have a lot of ones pointing forward and well armoured and drive it right up towards bases and pepper it. The problem is obviously armour. You've seen that against things with weak armour, it's quite good, whereas other stuff, it's a bit iffy. But, you know, it's uh, fun. Also, I believe um, there'll be now probably more mods coming with the grape, sh uh, grape shot stuff. So, yeah. Interesting, good, and fun. As always, comments in the comments, and we will go from there. Link in the description so you can check the game out yourself. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.